Hello everyone. Welcome to the day of today. Eric, my handsome husband, this man right here, this yeah. guy, that guy, Who he's knows? being honored at his high school. They're literally like etching his face into a plaque. And so we're here to go to like a gala benefit thing. We're very excited and it's tonight. We didn't realize it was maybe dressier than we had anticipated. So I had to edit, but Eric was like, I went around to Target and get some stuff because <laughs> we don't have the appropriate attire perhaps. Okay, you ready? Which by the way, I asked him like a week ago, I was like, what am I supposed to wear this They didn't thing? say anything, nobody said anything about it. Can I tell you what he said? I was like, what should I wear? And he's like, I don't know, just whatever you'd wear. And I was like, no. I was I like, know. so should I wear jeans? And he's like, no, don't wear jeans. And I was like, oh, so should I wear a dress? He's like, no, don't wear a dress. So I was like, wait, I did. I did more off. So you said slacks. Yeah, slacks. Slacks? I don't have slacks. You said you were cold because you did also didn't bring a jacket even though it's No, I didn't. Crazy. I have this. This is jacket-ish. Jacket. Look at that, a puffery one. This is cute. Yeah, okay. Yes, I love it. Thank you, love. Ooh. Oh, These are cute little booties. Yeah, they're the Christie boots. Who's Christie? Oh, 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 that's so cute. Just grab like every dress that. All right, so you want dresses? Option number oh one. My God. This one. Okay. Looks like you're in charge. It's really soft. Like little, Matronly, like mother of the bride. A little twisty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little backless, Ooh, okay. little, little backy. This is funny. She's, backy. she's cutesy. Layered out sleeves. Sorry, the lighting's so bad. You probably can't even see anything I'm showing you. I'm gonna move. Maybe the lighting will be better. Uh, maybe I don't want the lighting better. I look terrifying right now. Okay, this is the other one. That's... And then she's a little, oh little off shoulder. I mean, this one's really cute though. I actually love this. Yeah, Thanks, Levy. These are so cute. Fashionista. Which one do you like the best? I gotta see mine, man. Try them on. All right, here's this dress. It look like the maid of honor, the mother of the bride. So we should be holding time. It's not horrible. What do we think? Am I a mother of the bride? Let's try on the next one. The two. This one looks like I'm going to a funeral, so sorry, I'd be dead. Funeral attire. I have it now. In case you die, I'll be ready. Here's the next one. I feel like a witch with these sleeves. I'm gonna cast a spell on you. Here's this one. What do we think? I don't know. I can't see anything because there's no mirrors. Here's this one, but I'm not gonna stand on the bed. Let's try on the next one. This is like 80s prom. Who is she? You could feel like a mother. Halloween costume. Yeah, it's like 80s Halloween prom. Yeah, if you did like goth makeup on your face. Okay, this is what I brought. I have like a little skirty skirt and like a baggy sweater. It might be too casual and I could wear it with high boots or the short little booties. I have tights because I don't want to freeze to death. But I have like black tights. I feel like this is weird. I don't know. Is this weird? I'm trying the other thing I brought. It's kind of the same thing, just in a different font. I also have this little dress. Simple black boring dress. Is that a thing? I don't know. How do people dress in clothes? I don't think they have anything else that could work is the problem. Short, long, tights, everything thing, nose, goodbye. All right, I'm going with the final outfit. All right, the last one I tried on. This is the one Eric likes the best, and I like it the best too. Just put on my shoes. We gotta go. We're late. Look at this view. Oh my God. We definitely don't have trees like this in California. I mean, we should actually be somewhere, just not where I live. All right, we're at this little banquet benefit gala mojama mama. Flynn's looking sweet in his suit. We're in Connecticut. We're in Connecticut, that is right. And we're just walking out our legs because we've been sitting at our table for a while, and so we needed to go for a walk. We're having so much fun. Today, he, he like built a train track. He found all the koi fish and the goldfish in their koi ponds. We need to catch more goldfish in there. They're massive. They're moving the goldfish from one koi pond to the other. Come on, Mama. The all of honor is Mr. Eric Stockland. <gasps> Eric is an actor who lives in Los Angeles. He's appeared in uh, many television series such as Haters Back Off for Netflix, Mistresses for ABC, Star for CBS as well as guest starring roles in Criminal Minds, Vampire Diaries, Bones, Good Trouble, Lucifer. About his moment was appearing on stage with his now wife, and for her Netflix comedy special, Miranda Sings, Live, You're Welcome, which was saying we congratulate him and welcome him to the of Honor. Eric? Woo! syndrome right now. We have doctors, uh, business CEOs, lifetime educators, uh, and I played a serial killer on an episode of Criminal Minds. 
We have state champions in every sport you could name. I played a werewolf on Vampire Diaries. We have inventors, doctors, athletes, entrepreneurs, philanthropists, and I kissed a CGI squirrel in a Super Bowl commercial. Um, I'm from here. There's not a lot of Hollywood here. There's not a lot of stuff like that, but I was, I, we were reading Macbeth. Uh, as you do, you go around from desk to desk, as you're terrified as I am now giving this speech. And for some reason, he saw something in me, and that's all it took was that one person that saw something in me, and then he passed me on to the next person that saw something in me. And for some reason, I was then standing on stage doing our town. I was so scared to tell my lacrosse coach, I need a week off. Um, I'm doing our town, I'm George Gibbs. I should have been, because he was like so excited for me. He bought tickets, he sat front row at my first performance. Um, that's what Andy means to me. Thank you so much, this is so awesome. Thank you, thank you. I just got back from the benefit thingy and it was so great. Eric was so great. If he gives me permission, I'm going to show you a little bit of his speech. He didn't know he was supposed to make a speech. Like actually before the thing, he was like, do you think I'm gonna have to give a speech to this thing? I was like, there's no way. No, they would have told you if you have to give a speech, like there's no way you're gonna have to give a speech. We get there and they start naming off the people that they were honoring tonight. And the first guy goes up and he gives a speech, like a long heartfelt speech. And Eric looked at me like, I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Anyway, he did not have a speech prepared. He didn't plan anything. And everyone's going over these like really heartfelt speeches. And then Eric got up there and I was like nervous for him. His speech was like incredible. Like he had jokes and he was making everyone laugh. He had like heartfelt moments. It was just like so wonderful. I was so proud of him. I feel like I could have never done that. If I was at some award ceremony and there were speeches and I had no idea I had to give a speech, like I would be panicking. I'd be vomiting in the bathroom from nerves. Like, and I wouldn't be able to give a good speech. Like I would just, stutter and mumble and wouldn't know what I was saying and it would be like the worst speech of the night and his like just oh my god it was so great and I'm so excited about it and I'm so proud of him and it was so fun I'm so glad we came obviously I didn't feel much today because I was just hanging out with family and then we had that thing that we went to and so there was just a lot going on so I assumed this might happen while I was here I thought I probably wouldn't be filming very much so I actually have some footage from when I was back home that I want to share with you guys from the pumpkin patch we went to the pumpkin patch we actually went twice we went once maybe a week ago Ago, two weeks ago I'm not quite sure but we just saw a random pumpkin patch off the side of the road and decided to pull over one night just to kill some time with the kids and it was really fun and then we went again to the pumpkin patch that we go to every year it's a tradition I've been going since I was a little girl to this pumpkin patch and it was super fun so I'm gonna show you those two little moments that we all had together at pumpkin patches <laughs> Day, new me. We are at the pumpkin patch, huh, Maisie? Should we ride a tractor? Come on, Wes. Yeah, okay, we're gonna ride a tractor. I have been going to the same pumpkin patch since I was a little girl, so it's always very special to me to get to bring my kids to the same pumpkin patch that I went to growing up. The tractor ride is a classic. It's always so fun, and the kids get so freaking excited to ride this tractor. What do you mean tractor? Is this so fun? Yeah. After the tractor ride, we went and visited all the cute little farm animals, pet the pigs, saw the donkeys and the goats. It was super fun. They're all so cute. And then we started looking for pumpkins. They have all different kinds of pumpkins. I actually prefer all these cute little tiny dainty demure pumpkins, but my kids wanted, of course, the big honkin' pumpkins. So we looked at these for a while and that was pretty fun. And then we went in the corn maze, which always makes me extremely claustrophobic. Then Wesley wanted to take pictures and he ended up just taking a bunch of really funny short little videos. So please enjoy. pumpkin patch cuteness. I'm tired. Tomorrow we have another big day. Eric is doing like a Q&A talk back thingy mabobber 
And so I'm going to go to that with him. And I think we are going fishing or something. I'm not really sure. I'm, he wants to hang out with all his like childhood besties. And so we have like a bunch of stuff planned. And there's an aquarium nearby that we're going to try to go to at some point. So there's a lot of fun stuff coming up in the next couple of days. And then traveling home to see the twins, which I'm very excited about. But I'm so proud of Eric. Really happy we came out to do this. And I'm going to call it a night. But thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you very soon.